Laurie, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, why were you interested in being on Jeopardy? Well, I've been watching it my entire life. I was brought up uh, sitting down to dinner at 7 p.m. to watch Jeopardy. My family would play along. So I think my dad auditioned a few times. My sister might have auditioned once. And then when I became old enough for Teen Jeopardy, I auditioned three times. Well, took the online test, qualified for an audition every time, and never made it on. And then the first time I took it for college Jeopardy, I actually made it. And once you found out that you made it, what did you do to prepare? There's a Jeopardy archive website that has all of the old games with all the questions, who got them right, what incorrect guesses were, all of the stats. So I went and looked at the old college tournaments and did a lot of review from there. And based on what I saw in there, I went onto quiz websites and w Wikipedia pages and general trivia things that came up a lot, things like presidents and state capitals. And what was your favorite part of this experience? Honestly, probably meeting the other contestants. Um, it was an amazing group of people from colleges all over the country and different majors, different extracurricular activities with different areas of expertise when it came to trivia. But everyone had this common passion for this show and we're still in contact. We've been on Google Hangouts every day while watching and it was amazing to get to play with them and meet them. So after you got the question right in Final Jeopardy, did you think that you had a chance of making it into finals? I started to get a little more confident once I got it right. I, I went into semifinals not really expecting to advance. I was pretty happy just to have made it into the second round. Um, and when I saw the category, I thought 19th century names is really general. That could be an author, a scientist, or someone American, or British, or Chinese, like who knows. Um, and I didn't know which history I would know the best. And then I took a random guess. When I got it right, if anyone watched the episode, you could see the change on my face that happened. Um, and then when Whitney got it wrong, I thought maybe Tucker had gotten it wrong, or maybe he hadn't been confident and hadn't wagered that much money. So there was a moment thinking it might be possible, but then he wagered enough to outdo me. And what has this experience been like representing the University of Chicago? It's been great. There's been such an outpouring of support, and it's really nice. Even seeing things like people posting on Overheard who didn't even know me, like, oh, look, someone's on Jeopardy. And uh, it, it felt really nice to be able to represent the school and to have uh, people out of school being excited about it.